The overall goal of this procedure is to measure the velocity profile of a blood solution in a microchannel using microparticle image velocimetry. This is accomplished by first calibrating the system using a Newtonian solution in the microchannel to set the scale, adjust image timing, and to find the center plane of the channel. The second step is to introduce the blood solution into the channel setup and to ensure that there are no microbubbles. Next, the blood flow is imaged at the desired planes in the channel using pairs of images from a pulsed camera or video from a high-speed camera. The final step is to cross-correlate between the image pairs or the video sequence to obtain the displacement vector field within the channel. Ultimately, the displacement vector field can be averaged across the channel and over the time frame of the measurement to obtain an indicative velocity profile. This profile can be further analyzed or used for calculations. This method can answer key questions in the biomedical and biofluids field, such as the shape of the velocity profile and the shear rate at the wall of a microvessel. Generally, users new to this method struggle with the difficulties involved in using biological samples such as blood and the complexities involved in taking accurate measurements. The first step is to acquire a microchannel in polydimethyl siloxane, or PDMS. The microchannels in this experiment are approximately 50 microns deep and 150 microns wide. Expose the fluid contacting side of the PDMS and the glass slide on which it will be bonded to...